Alrighty, welcome back. In this part, we are going to talk about functions and scope, which can be a really annoying but very important topic. Basically, what it means is that variables created inside of a function are only available inside of that function. And this is called a local scope. And if we are creating variables outside of a function, we are creating a variable in the global scope. And the problem a lot of beginners have is to combine the local and the global scope. And I think all of this is going to sound a bit cryptic, so let's do this in a bit more of a practical way. Here we have a completely empty Python file. And I want to create a variable I called a and assign it a value 10. It doesn't really matter what it is. And after that, I want to create a function. Let's call it test func. We don't need any parameters. And in here, I want to print a. And this is going to work. If I print test func, I can run this, we get 10. All of this is working perfectly fine and there are no problems whatsoever. However, now we can do something weird. Let's say I want to get a and add some kind of value to it. Let's say two. If I now run the code, we are getting an error. And the error we get is a local variable a was referenced before the assignment. Now, to understand that, we have to understand the local and the global scope. And this a here is a global variable. And we know it is a global variable because it was not created inside of a function. It is just there by itself. However, this test func here has a local scope. And the reason why we got an error is because when we are creating a variable like this a inside of the function, we are creating a new variable inside of the scope of this function only here. And since we are now adding a value to it, when we are creating it, Python gets confused because there's no original value, at least according to Python. What we could be doing is set this a just to two and now run this again, and this is going to work. And now this might be even more confusing because now we have an a inside of the function and an a outside of it. And to Python, those two are completely separate variables. There are no connections for Python. And the reason why there is no connection is again, because this is a local scope of the test function. And all the variables we are creating inside of it only exist inside of this function. Meaning what I could also do now is create another function. Let's call it test func two. And in here, again, I can create variable a again. Let's give it another value 200 and print a again. And now I can run test func two and run all of this. And now the value for this a here is going to be 200, the one we are getting down here. And again, the reason why this works is that each of these functions have their own local scope. And on top of that, we have this global variable here. And understanding scope does take some time, but there's one really important thing I do want to cover. And that is that functions are supposed to be separate from the rest of the code. This scope isn't a necessity, it's by design. And the reason is that once the code becomes more complex, it is really easy to run out of variable names, which can be very annoying. For example, for the car we have, we could have one function for the battery and one function for the tank, and both might have some kind of capacity variable. And because of the local scope, this is perfectly fine. We can reuse that word. If we didn't have functions, we would have to play around with that, like capacity battery, capacity tank. But then if we have more and more capacities, this gets really annoying. And this is one of the main reasons for scope inside of functions, that we want functions to be separate from each other so we can focus on one function at a time. So let me put it in red. Local scopes inside of a function help us keep things organized, especially later on when we are writing more complex code. This is becoming incredibly important and incredibly useful as well. But all right, still, when you get started with this, it's very, very annoying. So let's talk about the rules of scope. They are not that complicated. 
The first one is that every function has its own local scope and every local scope is separate. And let's play around with that one. And this we have actually already seen in practice. We have test func here and test func two. And both of those have the variable a inside of them. And this variable a is completely separate for each function. And I guess just to keep with the example from earlier, this could be something like capacity and I could print that capacity as well and we will get different numbers. And I am probably repeating myself, but this capacity here, for example, only exists inside of this function here. And this also means I couldn't print capacity. Or well, I could, but Python would give me an error that name capacity is not defined. And the problem here is that this capacity we are trying to print in the global scope. But capacity does not exist in the global scope. So I can't do that. I can only print capacity inside of the local scope of the test function because in there it does exist. And well, that is the first rule of scope inside of a function. For number two, we have global variables and those can be accessed in the local scope, but they cannot be changed or created, at least not by default. And let's have a look at this one in practice a bit more. This one is really important. And let me comment out all of this so we have an easier example. And this is actually what we have seen earlier. So let me run test func, let's call it test func3 to keep things a bit more organized. When we started this part, I just printed a and this did work, meaning now if I run test func3, we get 10. And what happened here is we are creating a variable inside of the global scope. And then inside of the local scope of the test function, we are printing this. And if we are running all of this, we don't get an error and we are printing the global variable. This is working just fine. And the reason why it is working is because we can access global variables inside of a function. However, what we cannot do is update the value, meaning we couldn't do something like a plus equals two, because then we are updating the value, which Python doesn't like. Now with that, we have the problem of scope. The question now is how can we solve it? And for that, we can use parameters, global and return. And parameters we have already seen. It's just a normal function parameters and those allow us to pass global variables inside of the local scope of a function. The more interesting ones are global and return. And I do want to emphasize straight away that global is a very easy solution to scope, but not a good one. You will see in a second why. But the one you want to use the most is return. This one is much better and global you generally want to avoid. But let's actually have a look at how they work. The first way to overcome the local scope of a function is by declaring a variable to be global. And this you do by just typing global and then the name of the variable you want to declare as global. In my case, a. And now if I run this, this is working just fine. The reason why it is working just fine is because when Python now sees this a plus equal two, we are telling it that this a is a global variable, which means Python is now looking in our global scope for the variable a, and then we're using that value. And if you really wanted to, you could declare global all of your local variables inside of every function you ever write and then never worry about scope ever again which I guess would be possible, but a really bad solution. You are supposed to be using a local scope and keep variables inside of that. Which is why global is not really used that often. And when it's used, it's not really looked that favorably upon. You generally want to avoid it. A better way would be using parameters and return. And parameters we have already seen. So for this test function, we can just create a parameter, let's call it a as well. And now when I'm calling this test function free, I want to pass in my 10. And if I run this now, we are getting 12 again. 
Meaning if you want to update a global variable inside of a function, you would want to use a parameter. That is generally how you get global variables inside of a function and then work with them. And to get values outside of a function, you usually want to use the return value. And in my case, for this function, I want to return the value a. And this return is the same return that basically anything in Python does. It's just a custom implementation of that principle. Meaning if I have that, I can comment out my print a and now when I run this function, it is going to return the value of this a. I could, for example, print it. And if I run this, I get 12 again, or 10 plus two. And just to go over what's happening here, I first declare a 10 inside of the variable a inside of the global scope. Then this a I pass into the function. So we have a parameter inside of the function that is local to this function only. And to this value, we are adding the integer two. And after we are doing this, we are returning this new value. And then this value is being printed with the print function and we are getting 12 and all of this is working really well. And if you wanted to update this value here, you could even do something like a equals the test function with a, and now we could print a and get the same result. And this is then how you would actually want to work with functions that you're using parameters and the return statement to keep everything inside of the function organized and separate from the rest of the code. And especially for beginners, this is generally something kind of confusing. So I guess when you are just getting started, using global can be okay sometimes, but you generally want to rather use return. It is a much cleaner way. But all right. Let's do an exercise on all of this and let's see how well you understand it. And basically what I want you guys to do, let me copy all of it. I want you guys to create two global variables called multiplier and has calculated. Multiplier should have an integer and has calculated should be set to the Boolean false. What integer you set is entirely up to you. I really don't care. After you have done that, create a function called multiply calculator. And this one should take one argument and then calculates the multiplication. Let me put this on another line. It simply multiplies that number. That's just about it. All you really have to do is inside of the function, multiply the parameter with the global variable multiplier. And once the calculation is done, set has calculated to true. And that is this global variable has calculated. Then store the new number in a variable called result and return it from the function. And finally, print a return value of the function after it was called with the number. Okay, I'm um, probably read for this a couple of times. It's a tiny bit longer, but pause the video now and try this one yourself. Alrighty, let's do it together now. And let me comment out all of this at the beginning so we don't get confused. First of all, I have to create two global variables. One is called multiplier. And this one I want to set to an integer, let's say five. And after I have that, I want another variable called has calculated. And this one by default is going to be false. And with that, we have these two parts already covered. Next up, I want to create a function called multiplier multiply calculator and this one takes one argument so it needs one parameter let's call it number meaning now we are basically here so next up i want to do this step here i want to multiply my number with my multiplier and this is perfectly fine for python because remember we can use global variables inside of the local scope. So this multiplier here is from the global scope. So we can use it, but we couldn't update it. But next up, we have to take care of the has calculated and set it to true, this part here. And for that, I want to set has calculated to true. 
But here now we have the problem. This is the local scope. So we cannot update this global variable here. And I guess for now, the easiest way of doing this would be to set global has calculated. And well, with that, we have this part covered here. Now, next up, we have to store the new number generated inside of a variable called result and return it. And all I really want to do in here is the result is the result of, well, this operation here. And let me put this below has calculated that feels a bit cleaner. And now what I want to do is to return that result. Meaning whenever we call this multiplication function, we are returning this value here. And this I want to use with print and I want to multiply calculator. And in here, I can add any number I want. Let's say 10 and let's see what we get, 50, which is 10 times five. So this is working just fine. And what I can also do now, I can print as calculated and this is now true. So as soon as we're calling this function, this is being updated. Although there's one really important thing about the return statement that I forgot to mention earlier. And that is that return ends the execution of the function. For example, if has calculated is after return and I run this again, has calculated is still false because this has calculated is equal to true is not being executed. And that happens because return ends this function call. The function essentially ends here. This is something you do want to be careful about. But all right, with that, we have scope. And again, scope very early on can be kind of a tricky topic. So I hope all of that makes sense. But for now, don't worry too much about it. Just play around with different examples of code and come back to this video when you get to something more complex. It will become more important and I hope eventually starts to make more sense.